Hello everyone, it's uh, Wednesday the 6th of October and uh, we've got Welcome to Woodbury as our challenge uh, set this week and we've got Charged Hunters to help us on it. So this map set is based on the season missions, um, uh, the highlight season missions and it's got some horrible maps in here. Uh, it's not one of my favourite map sets at all. Uh, there are a few tips and tricks for some of them. Uh, which I'll go through when I get to them. Uh, but we're going to start with Death Trap. Uh, this used to be Backyard Arena, uh, but they uh, they changed it because people didn't like it. So we've got Death Trap to start with, and you've got to open the doors at the top for two turns and then stand on the exit line. There's one tank and a load of uh, walkers. Uh, you've got a couple of blind corners around the cabinets. Last time we had charged assaults, um, and it made it a lot easier. This time we charged hunters, not so much. Uh, although uh, Shane's buckshot will probably help because there's normally quite a nice bunch of them around this corner. One good team to use I found was uh, Gabriel and leading Eugene and right gig Glenn. <clears throat> and if you can see the tank up there, um, you might want to move down to the bottom. But usually I would go to the top and then round the corner uh, with Gabriel, get him on the door and then try and stun uh, what's around the corner with right gig Glenn and Eugene. <clears throat> it's either really easy or pretty difficult. You can also take threat reduction and beat a Huntsman Daryl and just kill everything, uh, keeping the threat down. And that works quite well up to a point, obviously. Um, and you might want to uh, use Shiva <clears throat> to bring anyone walkers your attention you can see so you can start killing them um, whilst letting the other ones wander around in the dark. Um, one of the easier maps that was. Uh, the Breach is the next map and it's one of my personal hated, one of my most hated ones. Probably my most hated after getting burnt. There's no incoming, but and there are there is a tank that starts on the map. Um and some normal walkers. Once you've killed the last of these starting walkers, there's a container to the left which open which opens and spits two walkers out each turn. And you've got to put someone on that container to shut it which takes two turns and once you start wor working on that container a tank will spawn at the back near where Beta is and a normal walker will spawn where Daryl is or around there but what you've got to do is try and control the two uh, auto spawns with just two people um, and they don't always come out together but using beta and you can usually herd them quite well or stun them with a morning star but it, it it's um it's horrible uh, once the container's shut you've got to kill any remaining walkers um not really much of a trick to it um but i'll show you a few different teams you can use i think i was using this team pretty much all the way through um just to be able to stun twice uh, with two morning stars whilst keeping the threat down with, um, while doing the big damage with Daryl. But I'll, um, I'll show you uh, this one later. Uh, the tank uh, is another not too bad a map. Uh, you've got to set detonators on, um, or set explosives in two points on the tank. One where that right is and there's one around the back. And then once they've been set, you need to press the, the detonator over here. Good news is, uh, if you can get everyone on the three boxes in one turn, um, so set the two explosives and hit the detonator in one turn with your three survivors, you don't take any damage from the tank exploding. If you can't do it all in one go, then once you start putting... Explosives on, riots will spawn 
from the, I guess, the bottom of the map. Um, I guess the opposite side from the detonator. Um, and you'll also have auto spawns coming from. You always have auto spawns coming from the gate side and by the back button. So you want to be quick, quick as you can. So uh, being able to run past with Huntsman Daryl is really useful. Um, and if you've got right gig land to be start charged. Um, last time you had two assaults who did start charge, so it was fine. This time you might want to have right gig land in lead, either with another bruiser or an assault, and uh, Huntsman Daryl um, in uh, third position. Um, you need to get to at least um, in line with these supports. So next to where you can see this circle. Um, so, so that you can uh, get to the back button with Huntsman Daryl. <laughs> New home, uh, there's two techniques for this. Uh, the first thing I want to say is you do not have to push this container. Um, it actually can make it a lot harder if you push the container, so don't. Um, you've got incoming um, and you need to get to this right hand side and open the door. Um, if you do push the container, you get auto spawns coming from this gate. If you don't push it, no auto spawns, hence why it's easier. You can either charge to the right trying to stun and kill everything on the way and just get out as quickly as possible or you can take your time and kill everything keeping the threat down it takes a long time there's a lot of starting walkers um including a riot so at higher levels they take quite a bit of beating um and you need to keep the threat down so maybe having a, a charged hunter with a silent weapon might be good to uh, get you going. Maybe Shane, beat a Huntsman Daryl and Shane, who knows, I I'm gonna give it a go, just to hopefully speed things up by exploding them. Um, not much more to say on that, either uh, charge it or threat reduction, um, and don't push the container. Uh, <clears throat> Prison Sadder, another horrible map. So you start three separate rooms, someone in this first little corridor room, then a middle room, and then an end room. Each door triggers an auto spawn. If you don't go through, go within one space of the doors, then nothing happens and you can just take your time killing everything. Nothing happens, you can just take your time killing everything. Um, so having a beater and um, <coughs> a scout and a shooter with fire, um, you can kill the starting walker in this room. There's only two in this room and there's three in the end room. Um, as you can see I've on this picture I've broken the door with beater which has spawned two more. Um, and once you break through the door into the end room or come back into the second room, uh, you get a tank spawn and another two normal walkers and a turn after that, another two normal walkers and a turn after that, another two normal walkers. Um, I think that's right. So... One tactic is to kill everything before you break the doors, run up into this corner, get that um, auto spawn to come and chase you at the top, and then run down the bottom towards the exit. One thing to be aware of is if you kill more than three of the walkers that come in in that auto in those in that set of auto spawns of the tank and two normal, two normal, two normal. If you kill more than three, you'll get auto spawns every time that come in on the line. So try not to kill 
any of the walkers <laughs> that auto spawn. You might have to kill one or two, but don't kill more than three, because that makes it really difficult to get onto that exit line. Um, I'll show you a couple of different teams to use on it, um, but if you can avoid that killing those, then it makes it a lot easier. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in my videos. Fenced off is um, another split up team situation. So you've got third position survivor um, above the gate and two survivors down at the bottom. Nothing spawns in the bottom section. Everything spawns in the top. So it's best to have your bruiser, and like usually, it's best to have your bruiser in third position if you're using a bruiser. Um, kill the two normal walkers and uh, get the threat down if you can. Then you need to get on the to a gate which is on the right hand side over here. And when you get on that gate, you'll get an auto spawn start um, by this. Uh, just to the right of this bush. The good news is, you can use priority targeting of the walkers to make them stay in the end zone quite well, um, which means they won't come and attack you. If you can get your bruiser down to the spot just above the walker, uh, the 42 walker on the bottom side of the gate, then you've got a good chance of keeping everything to the right penned in by the gate and hopefully you'll be able to keep the stuff on the left stunned. Um, I'll sh explain what I mean in uh, my first few videos um, but it can be really helpful and can often mean you don't need to deal with the tank. Uh, you can get it stuck in the end, end zone. Um, and that's pretty much it, really. Um, yeah, I, if you can't get the walkers to walk away um, or keep them stunned um, with your bruiser, then it is a really tricky map. Um, but keeping the threat down helps uh, at the start. And then um, having long-range weapons to get hit through the gate will also help as well. So uh, I'll uh, I'll show you that later. I, I'm not a big fan of this challenge map set, as I said. Um, got one minute gas, which is nice. Hopefully we'll get some reduced healing for the birthday. Uh, next game's birthday celebrations, but I'm not hopeful. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll try and get some commentary videos up this week, which I didn't last week. Sorry about that, um, but I'll, I'll I'll try and explain some of the little tips and tricks I've uh, mentioned in this video. Have fun, everyone, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.